Okay, this tutorial is going to show you how you can create a Google Form, which is one of the options in Google Drive, to uh, survey your staff, survey a group of people, create assessments, anytime you want to ask questions of people and um, get data that you can look at and analyze. So what you do is you start by going to New, and you actually have to go down to More, and then Google Forms will be up at the top there. It's the purple box icon. And there are actually four pieces of this. The first piece that you'll see will be your editing page. So here's where you're going to set your options and add your questions. So the first box here lets you set this up and depending on your purpose, you might pick different options. If you want to know who is submitting something, you want their identification information, you're going to have to require a login and you're going to have to automatically collect their username. This will tell you that Van Fleet J, you know, submitted this form at this time. It will be directly connected to the person who submitted it. So think about where you would want to have names collected versus where you might want that to be anonymous. If you want that anonymous, uncheck that. If you don't want people to even have to log in, you just want them to go directly to the form, you would also uncheck this box. And I'll say, are you sure you want to do this? And you say, okay. Um, you can also set some options for a progress bar if it's a particularly long um, survey, or you could even ask them to only allow one response, but that would require a login. So think about voting, for example. If you everybody, want everybody to have just one vote, you would select this box, you would also have to have the first box selected, but it wouldn't necessarily collect username, so it still could be anonymous. And you can also shuffle the question order, so that might become useful in assessment. But for our purposes today, we're just going to create a really simple form. You can start by titling the form, and then you can type a description if you want in that form, whatever you want, uh, directions or any other information that you want the users to see. And then you can start adding your questions. You've got options in your questions. Uh, you can do a text. Paragraph text just gives more room. Multiple choice check boxes. Choose from a list. Scale will let them say from one to five, what do you think about this? And a grid is basically like a scale, but with more than one line, such as what we did on the principal survey. Um, you can also ask them to say a date and a time. So this is just going to be a multiple choice. And you can just type in whatever you want. And you can just start adding in your items here. And I just hit enter to get another option. Enter. And then I could also say, let's give them another choice in case red, green, or blue is not their, not their favorite. You can also decide if a question is required or not, which will, if you check it required, they will not be able to submit until they finish that question, or it could be an optional question. And then you would hit done. Um, the, you could add as many questions as you want by going to this add item button. So you can just keep on going. And then you also have a confirmation page that will come up once someone has submitted. So the automatic line is your response has been recorded, but you could change that to say thank you so much, someone will be in touch with you, or anything you want. Uh, if you want them to have a chance to submit another response, um, you know, for example, if a teacher created a homework survey that they use all year, you'd want kids to be able to submit multiple responses. You could check or uncheck that. You can allow them to see the, f the form results if you want them to see that. And then you can also allow them to edit their responses after they submit. So that just depends on how you are, uh, what purpose you're creating the form. So I've created my little test form here. And if I want to see what that looks like, I can click on View Live Form and a new tab opens. And this is what the user would see. So this is my finished product on the user end. So this is what I would send to people. Um, but I may want to go back to my form and um, I may want to change up the look of the form a little bit. So here's my change theme button. And there are a number of options down the side here. Some of them are preset. You can also, what I usually do is, <clears throat> you know, for a standardized look, I might pull the TLCS logo. Uh, we also have access to the DCSD logo. You might have a school logo. <clears throat> so if you go to customize, you can tell it to pick out a certain header image. You can just choose an image from your drive. 
um, or you could upload an image. So you can make that look how you want to. Now the exciting part about this form is once people are um, taking the form, you get all the information automatically added into a response spreadsheet. So I'm going to go to responses back on my editing page and I'm going to click on view responses. Now right now we don't have any responses, but if I sent this out as people um, hit submit on their form, it would automatically populate the spreadsheet for me. So the only things I've asked it to collect are the timestamp and then my one question. But it, it would have a new column for every question depending on how I set my form up. So it's automatically put in the spreadsheet for me. And the other nice thing it will do is it will spit out some automatic data for you without any work on your own end. So if you go to form and then go to show summary of responses, this is where they'll, there will be bar charts, pie charts, pie, you know, graphs, all the information kind of put together in a really nice visual. So you could present your data at a team meeting um, without having to do a whole lot of work on your end, although you could go back into the spreadsheet and, you know, look at that data, filter that data however you wanted. So there's just a lot you can do with forms. Um, so I hope that that's useful. I hope that you're thinking of one way you might use a form in your building.